what what year did that thing go extinct? The terror bird. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Man, it's got to be prehistoric. Okay. Well, yeah, I don't I think it was prehistoric. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. That's one of the, the the main points of evidence that I always use when people talk about Bigfoot. Like, how come you don't? I don't. You don't believe Bigfoot's real anymore. I'm like, I don't. It's not that I don't believe it's real, but I I have a very hard time believing that hunters haven't seen them. What if um, the reason all these cool animals are extinct is because they walked off the edge of the earth? That's a good point, dude. It's they probably they passed they... the ice wall. <laughs> There's an ice wall out there. You can't pass it. It's super important. Stay on the side of the ice wall. There are reports from Uruguay of findings dating to 450,000 and 17,000 years ago. But the claim is debated. So um, Obviously. Wow. That's as close as we get. 62 to 1.8 million years ago is the actual normal thought of range. Even though I don't believe it, I, area. I tried era. to keep an open mind about this flat earth thing. <laughs> you try to keep an open mind? I think it is, man. I think it's just a lack of communication. I think what we need is like, I know Neil deGrasse Tyson had this conversation with B.O.B., right? That's the, the rapper's name. We kind of explained it to him. B.O.B. dissed him on a, a, a flat earth support track or something. I don't know. It's I, I just think it's just a lack of communication. It's like someone needs to explain to people in a way that doesn't offend their preconceived notions. Because people get this idea that they have the, the right information about something. They think that something is something. They, they, they get married to that idea. And if you go, you're like Shaq, who just recently came out and said he was married to the idea that the world is flat. It's like, <laughs> how much research are you doing? Don't bait you know, me. Are you, Do not bait me. How much, how much research are the people on the space station doing? Are they all in on a lie? They're all in on a lie? Is that real? Or did you decide that that's real, and now you're looking only at things that support that idea in your head? And you're not looking for it through astrophysicists or astronauts or people that study it their whole life who understand it. You're not looking at it through those lenses. That's why it seems like it makes sense. It only seems like it makes sense because you don't know what makes sense. How dare you? Am I baiting? I'm not well, even you're folks. You're baiting me on the I, shack I think thing. we all are just, we're, we're all silly, all of us on both sides. No. It's, it's, it's not even the, just that the people that believe the earth is flat. I've got three full passports with stamps. I think I feel not, for the people that believe it because I think someone never, didn't tell them correctly or something. Yeah, but I've never did an international flight where I flew for a while and then the plane banked. <laughs> and turned. <laughs> and turned. Around. It doesn't work that way. It's like a black hole. Uh, it hit the yeah. wall, the ice wall, and then you go back in time to the moment when you're born. Is the ice wall. live your life over and over again. Is the ice wall real, though? Is Fuck, that, yes. No one's been there and take true? pictures of it, but they can't because of the Illuminati and plus the Jews. No, what? Pr you can't just go to the ice wall, dude. <laughs> Jamie, I'm asking you as a third <laughs> party. <laughs> My... It was a simple question to Joe. Of, I'm sorry. So what happens when you get to the edge? I wish I was an expert. There and he no said, edge. "Let's just make shit up." So, but is there an ice wall, or was that it was? Because I actually thought that was part of the argument. Yes, no, that is part of the yeah, argument. It's being guarded by but NASA it's, or something. But the part, the part of the it's argument guarded. Uh, wait a minute. This <laughs> sounds, are you kidding me? No. <laughs> this sounds like the Truman Show, uh, or like uh, Hunger Games. I don't fault anybody who believes that. I'm telling that. you right now. And I now. think there's a problem when someone believes something and then someone else doesn't believe what they believe. Mm -hmm. And then on both sides, there's, a, is a, there's an issue. Because the side that believes that they're right, the side of the astronomers and the astrophysicists, we get angry. We get angry at people that believe something other than what we are pretty sure to be true. So you start making it a personal thing, and it's stupid. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think that's part of the problems that people get invested in their ideas. You get invested in the idea of Bigfoot. I never invested in the idea of Bigfoot. I was super helpful or hopeful rather. Every time I would see a news story about Bigfoot, please let this be the one. I was thinking about yeah. it, man. I was like, if they really found Bigfoot, it makes sense. Mm -mm. Didn't make sense. No, Sharon actually.